All right, welcome back. We got the November 2023 Club Grunge Style shirt. All right, so it's gonna be an unboxing and a little storytelling. Uh, I announced it a couple of months ago that I had plans to do something with Grunge Style, and then I announced it on the latest, the October shirt, that, uh, well, they flew me and my wife down to San Antonio. So I got a list of things I need to talk about, the trip and so forth, and we're gonna get into that, but first we're gonna do the, uh, the November shirt. Got it with the uh, damn design. I've had this for a long ass time, for probably a year and a half. The Fenrir fixed blade. Never once carried it. Yeah, that was seventy dollars right there. But it's a sharp bitch. I mean, it's just there's no escaping that fucking no escaping that tip. <laughs> Giggity. Damn, sounds like a Bill Cosby joke. God rest his soul. Okay, before I get into this, I've seen. The next three months shirts already. I've seen every article of clothing for the next year. Well, at least eight months that, that Grunt Style has had lined up. So, uh, I can tell you right now, none of them are going to be white. And uh, there's going to be at least, I think one, maybe maybe two uh, Don't Tread on Me theme shirts. Oh boy. Saw the, uh, the sticker. Of course, I could just be saying that shit just to hype y'all up. I'd be fucking hype. All right. They've done this cool... Oh, shit. I might have to edit that out. They've done this uh, really nice uh, material the past, I'd say, what, 14, 15 months. Um, once again, they've got the that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that whole thing. There's the back. It does not have a back. The front does look rather nice. Lee, did you do this one? It looks like uh, something you did. Once again, clip art, we'll get into that. And, oh shit, I'm losing everything. All right, so yeah, what do you think? I like it. Suck to be you. <laughs> Who? The bomb? Fuck, the bomb's gonna blow up no matter what. <laughs> She's riding it like, never mind. All right, so here's the uh, the sticker. See, not being die cut is cool, but, you know, with this big ass design like this, when it covers the whole square, that's fine. No big deal to me. So, um, I got three shirts out here. This is gonna be the first Grunt Style shirt I ever owned. Um, I think I got it back in 2016, something around there. This was back when they were not giving a fuck. Fuck your gun free zone. Yeah, see, not much has changed really. Except for this is huge as shit. Like it should be. Big ass flag, right? This was a club shirt before they changed everything over when we had the twins. Hashtag save the twins. And the flag was a little smaller, I believe, compared to what originally was. And I picked this up in San Antonio because this is the only place you could get this shirt. I actually got one for Brad and one for uh, friend George. And the flag is slowly diminishing. It's kind of smaller. Not a whole lot. Maybe 20% uh, from the original. So remember that, all right? Many different iterations of the flag. Now. Why? I can tell you why. They're changing up their way they're pushing their brand. Um, you see an Under Armour? They had that little dinky ass flag. It looks like a, a, a billboard for Lego men. You know, really small. That's what they're kind of going towards. They're kind of trying to clean up the shirts and make them look a little more appealing to people. I understand that's why they're putting tags on to make it look a little, you know, hey, our shirts are, ta are tastefully offensive. You can wear them to the office or not. So, yeah, remember that. All right, so I do like the shirt. I, I think this is what they need to have done to begin with. It looks like a sticker. I mean, it looks... If you're like me, and you realize that since they've gone to the new material, the shirts fit about a half size smaller, so you want, you, you know, you, you've picked up 10, 15, 20 pounds, uh, you're having to stretch out the shirt, and that's just going to destroy the print. So if you're worried about that, just uh, when you do your club order, make a little, you know, next size bigger. All right, so going down the list of stuff I have here, um, I found out maybe in June, I think, 
that uh, grunt style is going to have me down there. Me and my wife, uh, we stayed three nights, four days total. Um, the flight there wasn't too bad out of Oklahoma City. Flew to Houston. Uh, from Houston to San Antonio, I, had, I was pulled to the side by TSA and I had my hands wiped down for bomb residue. Um, I had a Don't Tread On Me shirt. It's the, the black one with the multicolored snake. Uh, it was one of the newer shirts. Um, so that was fun. Uh, the time I mainly spent there was uh, a lot of walking around because there, there was a lot of stuff to do just walking around. It was hot as hell. Hot as hell. Uh, hit different, uh, two different breweries. There's a third brewery, but they weren't quite open to the public yet. Uh, their food is great. Uh, if you go to uh, uh, Grunt Style in San Antonio, right across the street is this barbecue place. Uh, me and my wife ate there three of the four time, of the four days we were there. Why didn't we do it four days? Well, because our plane was 9:30 in the morning on a Saturday, so that sucked. Uh, the barbecue is great. They got this drink. It's like a lemon, lime, mint, cucumber. It's fucking amazing. Uh, their pulled pork was trash. I hated their pulled pork. Um, but other than that, the brisket, uh, their sausages that they make there are really good. Uh, that, so that was that was really nice and fun. And then um, I think the second day or the third day we were there, which was on a Friday, uh, we went to um, uh, Grunt Style's headquarters. I picked up $300 worth of merch. Uh, the shirt was one of them. And then I picked up uh, some shit for my son, my wife, and a few more for me. And after getting all the merch and everything else, uh, there was a little ceremony for Colonel Jack Jacobs that was there. He uh, is a Medal of, Honor, Medal of Honor recipient from uh, Vietnam. He gave a bunch of stories, people asking questions and so forth. Uh, I believe it was Johnny that was drawing up a couple of different, I, I can't tell what they are. I know what they are, I just can't tell you what they are. Uh, doing some drawings and shit, and it's funny because the shirt I was wearing uh, had an AR with like bones, and that was a shirt that he had uh, he had designed, and I've had that shirt for well over a year. And then after that, we had a uh, meeting with the design team, and that's when I saw a bunch of the shirts. We were talking about uh, ideas, and I was, they got a whole, I'd say 25 feet of pieces of paper that show really small t-shirts of all the designs that are planning on coming out of first, second, third, fourth quarter, and so on. That was interesting as shit. I couldn't, there was one shirt, I think it's gonna be on 4th of July. Think, uh, think about blowing your load. Think, you know. And then uh, Tim Jensen, uh, co-owner, co-chief officer, motherfucker, I don't know. He gave me and my wife a tour. I don't think he had a clue that I do videos on YouTube. Uh, I will say that this guy, even if, you, if you're watching any YouTube videos and you see a grunt style video and you hear a dude talking, that's more than likely him. That guy can talk. And, and I mean, it, it, you, you know, you hear me stuttering and shit sometimes? This dude, just like, he just had it down. He, he was raring to go like he had it in his head. Uh, walked us around the... Um, the headquarters and talking about the different murals that uh, people had come in and painted and what they meant. Fun time. Uh, we weren't there as long as I had liked, but I understand everybody was busy, so. Um, we did go to the Alamo a couple times. Went during the day. It was pretty busy and hot as shit. Uh, went in the evening. It was about 8 or 9 o'clock. Uh, after doing a beer review, I, on the way out of the hotel, I had an extra, uh, it was a Potterosa beer. It was a mango something sour. I, I got a review for it. And I had another extra one, so I threw it in a uh, an insulated coffee cup and put a lid on it and walked around drinking that. And that was pretty much about it. Um, the next day we flew out in a flight back. So leaving San Antonio to go to Houston, right? Uh, well, right as soon as I go through TSA, I get pulled to the side. And once again, I'm wearing a different Don't Tread On Me shirt. It was actually uh, one of the club shirts. It was the pinkish maroonish colored and this dude points to his screen and it's got a diagram of a dude standing like a T and it's got a red box on his dick and he's like I'm gonna have to touch you in this region here is that okay or do we gonna go to private I said dude there's like 30 people behind me let's just do this here I'm I'm ready so ah, fuck flight layover there flight layover back so out of the four times twice I got pulled to the side for TSA what are they looking for I don't know. Shit. So, there you go. I want to thank Grunt Style again for what you all do. I'd love to spend a lot more time with the design team. I didn't even get any pictures with them. That sucked. So, 
Next time I come down to San Antonio, I'm going to drive, and then uh, maybe we can all meet up and go have some lunch or some shit. Just talk, hang out, do whatever else. So there you go. Every time I talk about, you know, the, the or when I did talk about the design team and poking fun of this and that, I had to tell them, look, you, you have to have drama to get people to watch your shit. I just can't open up every video going, this is the shirt, it looks fucking great, bye. So, and it wasn't their, design, it wasn't their idea. It's funny because the, the lady I was dealing with, I think she said it was her, her I, part of her idea, maybe? I don't remember, dude. I've, I've, I've done a few things since then. All right, so there you go. I'll have a link below. If you're interested in the club, be sure to read the fine print basically every month. If you do a yearly, you pay, I think I, think I pay two eleven. I don't think I had a discount. I don't know. I don't know. But you pay yearly or you can pay monthly if you want. I think they're still doing that. And every month they send you a shirt. And you can do the beer guarantee. Plus also with the club, you get upgraded to $15, I think expedited shipping. You can order a sticker. Fucking whatever you want. Any day of the week. And they'll send it to you for free. Free shipping. Alright, so there you go. We'll be seeing you.